Hello my dear students, I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Take my heart. My little brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you. Today I will discuss about the elementary mathematics of class 1 and I will try to solve all the maths which is mentioned in your textbooks in page number 33 inshallah I will try to solve all the questions all the maths uh, so let's get started and do the class first of all we see the maths of page number 33 here the beginning of the page we can see a challenge where it is mentioned that two boys were playing in a field and one boy came in and later four more boys joined with them how many boys are playing in the field now so there we need to solve these questions and then in the question number two we can find that there has more than 10 questions uh, probably 12 questions here and in question number three uh, we need to solve a problem and in question number four we also need to prob uh, solve a problem so let's get started first of all we will see the solve of the challenge so in the challenge we can see that at first there was two boys in the field and later one boy came in so 2 and 1 so 2 plus 1 is equal 3 and furthermore there also came 4 boys and joined with them so 3 plus 4 is will be 7 so if we write this question or if we write this math uh, it will be like that so the answer of the challenge is 2 plus 1 is equal 3 and 3 plus 4 is equal 7 so hope you all get the answer and then we will solve the question number two here uh, are more than 10 questions so we will solve these all types of questions first of all we see we will see the solution of question number one so here we can see that three plus two plus one is equal what so we know that 3 plus 1 is will be 5 and 5 plus 1 is equal 6. So the first questions will be and the first answer of the first question will be 6. And in the second questions we can see that 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal what? So we know that 4 plus 2 is equal 6 and 6 plus 1 is equal 7. So these all are simple maths of adding and if we see question number three we can see that one plus one plus one is equal what so you know that one plus one is equal two and then two plus one is equal three so the answer of question number three will be three if we see question number four we can see that two plus two plus two is equal what you know that 2 plus 1 is equal 4 and if we add more 2 with this 4 the answer of this question will be 6 because 2 plus 2 is equal 4 and then 4 plus 2 is equal 6 if we see question number 5 we can also see that 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal what so it is like the first earlier questions so there you can see that 3 plus 3 is equal what? We know that 3 plus 3 is equal 6 and then 6 plus 3 is equal 9. You can also count these types of maths in your hand, in your finger and also you can type a rough in the side of the page. And if we see the solution of question number 6 that will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal what? This is the question. 
and now we will try to understand the answer why there we find number 6 so 1 plus 2 is equal 3 and if we add another 3 with this 3 the answer will be 6 and if we see question number 7 we can find that 2 plus 5 plus 3 is equal what we know that 2 plus 5 is equal 7 and then 7 plus 3 is equal 10 so the answer of question number 7 will be 10 and if we see question number 8 the answer will be 1 plus 0 is equal 1 and then 1 plus 8 is equal 9 so the questions of a the 8 the so the answer of the question number 8 will be 9 and if we see question number 9 here we can see that 0 plus 7 plus 0 is equal what so 0 plus 7 plus 0 is equal 7 because we know that if we add something any number any types of number with a 0 the result will be that number not 0 so 0 plus 7 is equal 7 and then 7 plus 0 is equal 7 so the answer of question number 9 will be 7 and then if we see question number 10 we can see the question is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal what so you know that 1 plus 1 is equal 2 and then 2 plus 1 is equal 3 and finally that 3 plus 1 is equal 4 so the answer of question number 10 will be 4 if we see question number 11 we can see that 2 plus 1 plus 2 sorry 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal what so here are 4 2 so first of all we need to add 2 plus 2 we know that 2 plus 2 is equal 4 and if we add another 2 with that 4 the answer will be 6 and if we add another 2 with that 6 the answer will be 8 so 2 plus 2 is equal 4 4 plus 2 is equal 6 and then 6 plus 2 is equal 8 so the answer of question number 11 will be 8 if we see question number 12 we can see the question is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal what so if we solve that question 1 plus 2 is equal 3 and then 3 plus 3 is equal 6 after that 6 plus 4 will be 10 so I hope that you all understand the problems which I solve and uh, which is solved so if you have any uh, problems uh, you can also write me so now we will solve question number three so first of all uh, we need to see what is the question in question number three so we need to see the question <laughs> here is the question in page number 33 in question number three we can see that Raju is reading a book that means Raju is reading a book the day before yesterday the day before yesterday means the day before yesterday uh, that means uh, today today means uh, I, I think you can understand what I am saying uh, the day before yesterday means the day before or earlier than yesterday so the day before yesterday he read three pages yesterday he read two pages and today he read four pages so how many pages did the did he read in total so so solve to solving this uh, problem we need to uh, get the help from add so all the questions uh, mentioned in page number 33 all of them are adding questions or adding problems so mm, first of all uh, we need to find out what data are mentioned in there and then we need to solve the problem so in the first line there is the day before yesterday he reads three pages so you should keep in mind that Raju read three pages in the day uh, day before yesterday then yesterday he read two pages so three plus 2 is equal 5 and today today Raju reads 
4 pages. So 5 plus 4 is equal what? I think you can understand that 5 plus 4 is equal 9. So if we add 3 plus 2 plus 4, we can easily solve the question. So let's try to solve the problem. So now we will try to solve question number 3. So if you write question number 3, it it will be looks like that. So that is the solution of question number 3. In the first line, you need to write the day before yesterday he read is equal 3 pages. Yesterday he read 2 pages and today he read 4 pages. Because it is a adding problem, so you must need to keep the signs in your math. Otherwise, the number will be... Um, so otherwise uh, your teacher can force you so you need to uh, sign the, you need to add this sign this plus sign in your math when you will solve uh, this problem so in the first line you need to uh, you need to write that the day before yesterday he read three pages yesterday he read two pages and today he read four pages so if we add all of these three plus two is equal 5 and then 5 plus 4 is equal 9 so in total he read 9 pages so I hope uh, you all can understand this so and remember that you must needs to write this answer after finishing the question so here the answer is 9 pages so I hope that you all understand the maths you all where understand the questions you all were understand the solution so now we will try to solve question number four so first of all we need to see what were mentioned in question number four so we will now go to page number 33 okay uh, this is page number 33 and here we can see question number four there is mentioned that Mitu had one biscuit. Her father gave her seven more biscuits and her mother gave her two more biscuits. Now the question is how many biscuits does she have now? The students, you should keep in mind that at the first, at the beginning of the story, Mitu had one biscuit. Then her father gave her seven more biscuits. So 1 plus 7 is equal 8 and then furthermore her mother also give her two more biscuits so 8 plus 2 is equal what 8 plus 2 is equal 10 so the answer of this question will be 10 but but dear students you need to materialize you need to summarize these questions so how can you write this question uh, well so now we will see what is the solution of question number four so let's do it yes that is question number four and that is the solution of question number four uh, in the first line you need to write she had one biscuit in the first line in the beginning of the math you should write she had one biscuit then in the second line you should write her father gave her seven biscuit you should keep in mind that she had at the first time she had one biscuit then her father gave her seven biscuit and furthermore her mother gave her two biscuit because it is a add question and it is a math of adding so you must need you must need to keep this sign in your math and this is a plus sign and in the last line of this math you should write she have now and keep in mind that you should write this equal sign uh, in all of the line so now we will try to understand why the answer was 10 we know that 1 plus 7 is equal 8 and then 8 plus 2 is equal 10 so the answer is 10 
you can also count this math you can also count these numbers in your hands or in your fingers so that you can find the find the answer easily and remember that you must read this answer in your uh, in your notebook at the last of the maths so i hope that you all were understand the math which i were solved and if you have any doubts if you have any questions if you have any problems you can write me in the comment box and inshallah i will try to solve all the problems i will try to give all the solutions and i will try to uh, make uh, make clear of all doubts which have you so uh, if we see from the beginning of the page which were we described which where we discuss now uh, we can see that we was try to solve a challenge which was a, a problem like this then we solve more than 10 problems uh, I mean almost 12 problems and then we were solve question number three and then we were solve question number four so that was the questions that was the maths of page number 33 and i hope you all were understand the maths clearly and perfectly so in the next video or in the next tutorial i will try to solve another series another page of your textbooks so uh, inshallah we will uh, introduce then uh, so goodbye take care and stay safe Stay home. Thank you very much.